Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com, and we've talked quite a bit about the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G. One thing that we haven't done yet is really gone into software, and that's what I'd like to do today. So, what comes pre-packaged with the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G, and what's the little secret that they threw in there that might make migrating from your old Android phone to your new MyTouch 4G just a little bit simpler? And you didn't even know it was happening. Let's go take a look. Alright, so this is the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G. It is an HTC device like we've already talked about. And what I've done is a factory reset and boot it up and just buzz right through all of the setup. And I haven't configured anything. I haven't done anything at all to the phone except for turning the automatic brightness off because this phone has kind of a, a hyper brightness, if you will. And it'll fade in and out, which you don't see too much in person, but you do see an awful lot on camera. So I've gone ahead and turned it up to full brightness, and I turned the, uh, the screen off from 30 seconds to 10 minutes. Um, so that it doesn't keep turning off while I'm filming, obviously. So other than that, this is as stock as you're going to get right out of the box with your MyTouch 4G. So let's go through software now. Obviously it comes with HTC Sense. And it asks you which scene you want to pick in the first place. I've picked this zebra theme, which was the default one, which has kind of a blocky looking uh, launcher tray icon set, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you've got your app drawer in the middle, of course. You've got your dialer over on the side. You've got your contacts over on the side. And this is really kind of cool. Uh, nice little 3D looking thing, which for some reason it's not animating, probably because I only have the one person in there. <clears throat> but what I want to show you is what comes with this. First of all, we've got Kick Video Chat. Now, Kick is something we're going to cover in an upcoming video where we can actually show some, uh, some video chatting or video calling using the front-facing camera, which is right here. And we'll try doing that with another phone. Over on the side, we've got Faves. Now, faves are your favorite people, and it, for some reason, has remembered this. It probably stored that information on the SD card, which I did not wipe. But this would be a collection of your favorite people. Unfortunately, it's not the starred people, meaning the people that you star in your contacts on, say, Google Voice or on Gmail. Um, that doesn't translate across. This is just your favorite people that you've set up with HTC, uh, the Sense UI. Next, we've got your... Power widget, which is the, the stock power widget that you've come to know and love. Of course, you've got your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, whether you want to sync with your various services, and then, of course, your brightness, which I have turned to full up and not automatic, just for the purposes of this video, of course. This also has kind of entertainment. It's got the T-Mobile TV app. It's got something called Media Room. Rock Band, yes, Rock Band, and Asphalt 5. So before we go too much further, let's look at each one of these. Media Room is just kind of that. This is your collection of music videos. It's got your FM radio, and it even has Slacker Radio right there. So you can listen to all of your music, even the stuff that's online. You can listen to FM radio as long as you have your headset plugged in, and you can watch whatever videos you have on the phone. So kind of cool to put all of that in one place. Next, we've got T-Mobile TV, which is basically just Moby TV. It comes with a 30-day free subscription, which you'll see right here. Go ahead and accept that. The first time you use it, you do have to be over T-Mobile's network. You can see here I've been trying it for a few days now. You have to be over a T-Mobile network rather than over Wi-Fi the first time you use it to make sure that your device is indeed a T-Mobile phone and that you are authorized to use it. Now, it comes with a 30-day subscription, and I'll show you in here. You go to Help, View Subscriptions, and right there, T-Mobile TV, it shows you how many days are remaining. Simply uncheck that, and you won't be billed $9.99 a month for everything but the first month. So, there is all that. Of course, we can go back home. Here we've got Live TV and all the stations that are broadcasting what they call live TV. You can see over here a little dollar symbol uh, to let you know that that's an additional subscription. On demand, same problem as TV.com. There are some full episodes, but there's an awful lot of uh, clips, teasers, trailers, and whatnot. So uh, 
It still hasn't made it quite to where I would say it's going to replace your, your cable TV box or even just casual watching. I have to go through and hunt around to be able to find something that I'm interested in, uh, which is kind of a shame because my, uh, my tastes are relatively broad. But it's neat that they're starting to include that on the phone just right out of the gate. And there is a little bit more uh, full episode content with T-Mobile TV than there is with TV.com. So let's go back over here <clears throat> where we were before. Asphalt 5. Asphalt 5 is a racing game. It's very entertaining and it makes you rotate your phone and then not. This is basically demo wear. You can play the demo which has a level or two but if you want to buy the full thing it's seven bucks. Go ahead and play the demo and it says yep here you go one race or ten minutes max that's all you get. Okay. You know the first one's free but the next one's gonna cost you. Kind of a slow loading splash screen, a loading screen. Don't remove your SD card during the loading. Touch the screen to continue. Pick your car, and we're just going to go through and do the defaults here. And wait for loading. Loading, loading, loading. This is the thing that I hate about everything the old console games and whatnot. It takes way too long to load. But once you get in, the game is really kind of fun. It's not something that I would pay money for, but my kids sure would. Tap the screen to continue. We can skip that if we want. It's just showing an overview of the course. And you can see here the graphics are really pretty good. So not bad at all. We'll go ahead and cancel out of that because that kind of showed you what we're going to expect. And we'll go back to our game screen. Now, this is the one that really gets me, and it's Rock Band, and sure enough, it's just like the real Rock Band on your console. It's it's awesome. I mean, there are differences, obviously. You don't have the full uh, catalog that you do online. Um, I really wish that it would sync your progress and whatnot up between the two, so this was just like a mobile version of the console game. Uh, you know, kind of like what Windows Phone 7 is doing, but in any event, it's kind of neat. Let me just show you the controls in here a little bit. We'll go ahead and do all the small things by Blink-182 as these are phones and they are after all small things. I can do any one of these. Bass guitar, guitar, drums, or even vocals. Now I haven't tried vocals on this. Um, honestly I think it'd be kind of weird to see somebody singing to their phone uh, out in public. So I've been sticking with drums which is odd enough. Since this is on camera we're going to do easy although normally I do medium. I'm not bragging there. <laughs> not at all. And it says make sure you use both thumbs. I can't do that on screen, so we're just going to do one finger here, just as a demo. But same UI that you'd expect. Same rim shot when you miss a note. And it's a lot harder on camera. So, just as you'd expect, you go through, you hit the notes in time with, with the notes that are flying down at you. You get the full music right there. So really kind of cool, when you miss a whole bunch of notes, your fretboard, I don't know why they use fretboards for the drums, but they do, it's kind of their unifying uh, user interface element. Uh, your fretboard turns red and lets you know, hey, you got a problem, you've got your indicator over here, and of course, if somebody needs to talk to you, you can pause it and then quickly resume, just like that, and it'll bring you right back into the song, hopefully right where you left off. And it does. Nice fade in effect and everything. When you lose, and I'm trying to get it to lose here really quick by not drumming anything. There you go. Comes up and it should tell me that I only got about 25%, but I failed it and now I can go ahead and leave. And we'll go back and see what else is available here. And of course that's just a demo. It comes with two songs. You can play both guitars, the drum, and the vocals on, uh, on both of those songs, but it's just the two, which you know, obviously you want a bigger a collection than just that. So I would recommend if you if you play this and like it, go ahead and buy it. It's it's pretty fun. So moving right along, let's go to the other side now and see what we've got. We've got the demo video which I showed you in the first boot screen. Uh, basically a commercial about why you should buy the phone after you've already bought the phone. Kind of awkward there. Uh, mail, maps, gallery, camcorder, nothing different there. Of course you've got a link to the Android market and a Google search bar on the top. This is your uh, weather widget which it doesn't really know where I am, so it's showing me the weather in New York. I can set that, of course, to my location and get the 
uh, not only the four day forecast but also the current conditions. So really cool and that's one of the things that I like on my phone whether or not I have HTC Sense or not. Also comes prepackaged with Amazon MP3, the T-Mobile app pack, we're a shortcut to it. We already talked about Asphalt 5. It comes prepackaged with barcode scanner, which is really cool. Uh, more and more people are putting barcodes on stuff. You've even seen in some of the Pocket Now articles that we have a QR or a quick response code that is right there that you can hold your phone up to your computer screen, snap it in your barcode scanner software, and it'll take you right to the market where you can download that app. No more typing, no more searching. You don't have to worry about you know, typing something in and getting 10,000 responses and not knowing which is which. The next row is basically stock stuff. Your calculator, calendar, camcorder, camera, car dot clock, contacts, the demo video that we already talked about. Now these contacts are the HTC contacts. It's not the Android contacts, which some of you will like, some of you will not. Got a desk clock, which is just that. Basically car dock and desk dock are what we saw in uh, the Nexus One, where if you docked it into a car dock or a desktop dock, it would switch the phone into a different display mode. Um, obviously, that was appropriate for the context that it was. It would switch over into car mode, where you had a limited number of options that were all relating to, uh, to navigation and finding stuff on the road. Your desk dock is uh, basically a clock and weather and, and shortcuts and whatnot. So, Kind of neat. Uh, I hope that those three little gold docks right there mean that we are going to have a Nexus One style docking solution uh, in the future. I haven't seen one yet. If you have, please leave us a link to that in the comments down below. Flashlight. Obviously, we, we got to have a flashlight. It's got a push button to turn it on. And that's your LED flashlight right there. It's very bright. It does a really good job at being an impromptu flashlight. Uh, make sure you turn it off when you're done with it. The other feature that I wanted to show you, I don't really know where it comes from. I don't know if it's something that T-Mobile is doing. I don't know if it's something HTC is doing. I don't know if it's something that Google is doing with Android 2.2.1. What it is, when I came in here and I set up my device to connect to the market, I had to supply my, my Google credentials. And by doing that, it lets me see... You know, some stuff like what I've already purchased. Twitter Premium, ROM Manager, 8-Pen, uh, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. And I've shown you these before. So, it keeps track of that and lets me download and install them again. Now, something that is unusual that I haven't noticed before is once I set that up, even though I was only over HSPA, I wasn't over Wi-Fi, I started getting applications showing up in my app drawer that I hadn't installed on this phone. Now this isn't just updates like Google Maps and Flash Player and whatnot. This was my full set of apps. This was, count them, 74 apps that I had previously downloaded and installed automatically got pushed to this device. Now in my opinion that's just, that's very, very cool. I'd like to know where it came from, so if you know, please let us know in the comments. Uh, I'm sure there are lots of other people who are interested in that. Do you have this feature on your phone, and if so, what phone is it, and what version of Android are you running? But it was very cool. All I had to do was configure my, my Google account, go to the market, and then it just went and did its thing. In fact, you can see up here it's got the little synchronizing arrows. It did it in the background. I didn't even know it was happening until it was all done. It didn't affect my browsing speed noticeably. It didn't affect the performance of the device noticeably. It was just a really, really cool feature. So thumbs up to you, Google. So with an overview of the apps that come preloaded on the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G and 4Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.